safety. If you have any questions or any other little cards, you can fill them out. Please put your name address on there, phone number. We will get back to you with answers if you don't get them tonight. Alright? Uh, we did invite a few guests from the, uh, the various communities. And these wings from the property owners, Mecca from Garrison Beach Cares, Terry Scalvo from CB15, Dr. Uh, Toronto from 18, Greg Russo from Marine Park Civic, I know he's here, thank you for coming, Greg. Paul Furries from uh, the Matthews Council, Jim Duncan is the president of the Book Club, uh, Rick Schaefer, who's the post commander of the Model 7, Mary Powell, who's the president of Marine Park Civic, uh, Kevin Flynn from Palm Beach, there's some people from Palm Beach here, and John Zapp from uh, the Palm Beach Fire Farm. Alright, uh, I'm just going to let uh, the captain uh, from the 6 1 Carl Forest that will introduce his team. And I'll ask the uh, lead inspector from uh, the 6 3 that will introduce his team. And then we'll open it up to just some questions and answers. Alright? Good evening, everybody. My name is George Master Cassis. I'm the Manning Office of the Southwest Bracing. With me tonight is my Community Affairs Sergeant, White Doyle. Community Affairs Officer Aisha Brand and Intel Sergeant George Ray. Good evening, thank you all for coming. I'm Frank Angiarello, Commanding Officer of the 6th Street Precinct. With me I have my Executive Officer, Mike Giovanelli. I have my Special Operations Lieutenant, Bob Hanley, and my Community Affairs Sergeant, Sergeant Christine Bastidenbeck. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. I'm Brian Winter, Deputy Bird Commissioner for Operations for the Department of Buildings. Let us know how we can help. And I'm also a Chief Gray. I'm a Deputy Bird Commissioner for Building for the Department of Transportation. Ken Lazar, Chief of the Buildings. Uh, yeah, if anybody has any questions, feel free to come up. I'm not speaking to Mike. Just Come up. Any questions for 6163? I know we had some robberies in the area, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, Mayor Bloomberg has made a point of saying that he's going to uh, give you a little more harsh with the quality of life issues which uh, usually lead to uh, maybe group disputes and altercations. Now, the summer months, people tend to party more and play radios very loud. And uh, I noticed that we have problems uh, when there is a, an excess amount of noise, an excess of uh, 100 decibels going on all day and all night, the motorcycle is popping, the firecrack is going well. And when we fall into the community, uh, affairs office, nobody's there. And when we uh, report it to 311 and make a report, very often nothing happens. And if it does, it's hours and hours later. Uh, an example is that uh, I, in fact, had a stolen the car from my house for six days and reported and reported and reported it. It was a brand new Lexus, and it took six days to get a notice of that to remove it. How we can communicate with the precinct in a more efficient manner regarding quality of life issues? Obviously, uh, as uh, Mr. Fisher just stated right now, he called the police several times. Uh, obviously, that's not uh, something I want to hear. That I mean, he called several times and it took several calls before the police could address the situation. Uh, with the upcoming summer months, we'll talk about the quality of life first. For the last 28 days, in Garrison Beach, we have 25 criminal court summonses issued uh, for drinking and urinating in public. Uh, obviously, we'll keep up the enforcement. You mentioned fireworks. What we did is we've identified uh, locations through the 311 and 911 system from last year where we had problems with fireworks. We went out, we handed out flyers, we're going to continue to hand out flyers this week into next week, and basically just let everybody know in the area that. Uh, you know, we're going to be out there and we're going to be doing enforcement. Uh, when it comes to uh, noise from, uh, from vehicles, obviously we can enforce, you know what I mean, noise, you know what I mean, just if it's, if it's too loud. And 
we also have officers that are sound leader qualified that will be more accurate for a summit. So we'll take a look at that. And like I said, uh, with our community affairs extension, we have an answer machine there. If the officer, usually either my sergeant or my officer are there, you know what I mean, throughout the week, if they happen to take off a day or two, you know what I mean, that may create a little void. You can always call up the, uh, the TS. Uh, I'll look into, you know, your, your two or three phone calls that made five to the TS that you know, nobody responds to. I'll find out what happened. And obviously, I'm not happy to hear that. But uh, we'll see what we're going on there. Community affairs does have an answer machine. And every time I walk into the office, they usually have the phone getting back to somebody. So if there's any problems or issues, please bring them up. We also come to a Garrison Beach meeting that takes place every month, every hour, which is open to uh, you know questions and comments. And you know, obviously, you guys are bring the issues to us so we can address them. Uh, we spoke about the robberies that happened in the area. Actually, it wasn't robberies; it was burglaries. Within the last 28 days, we had a total of four burglaries. Uh, we had one on Melbourne Court. Uh, the complainant actually suspects that the cousin that was staying over the house actually took the property from the house. The detective is still looking into that. We had one on Gerritsen, uh, which is the uh, new, new Dutch uh, grocery store. It was broken into twice. The first time that it, it was burglarized, it was by two local kids from Gerritsen Beach that were arrested. Uh, it was broken into, I think, a couple of weeks later once again. It happened over the midnight. The lieutenant and the cop were on the scene. Although they couldn't tell 100%, and once again the squad was looking into it, we actually believe that it may have been those two individuals again that burglarized for the first time. They're either going in through the rock rooftop in the back, cigarettes, uh, but, you know, any penny money that's left in the cash register, that's what they're looking for. The other two burglaries both have arrests. One of them is on Siva Avenue, and the other one, uh, Siva Avenue actually involved a landlord that was arrested for going into the uh, complainant's apartment. And on Bartlett, we had an individual that was arrested for going to a tool shed and removing some property.
Well, we have to walk around with cotton in our ears. And there are 